Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. I'm Jared and today we are gonna be making patty melts. Not just any patty melt though, we're gonna be making ours with smash burgers on the inside. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. So to start with, this is gonna be pretty similar to just making regular burgers. So for our beef balls, we're just going in with patties that are you know, a little bit larger than the size of a golf ball. We're gonna make these about three ounce balls. You don't wanna overwork your beef and you wanna be using 80-20 ground chuck. Again, 80-20, as always on this channel, we mention that the 20% is the amount of fat that's in the beef and the 80% is the amount of lean or the muscle in the beef. And you want a high fat beef content because that's gonna bring you a lot of flavor. You know, fat equals flavor and burgers are the perfect example of that. You don't wanna overwork your burger ball either. You want these to be nice and light and if you overwork them and pack them in too much, they'll almost be like meatballs or meatloaf. Perfect. This last one's a little small, but that's all right. So now I've got our beef balls made up and we're gonna slice up some onion. So we'll just take the top off, come down through the root. Now we're just gonna cut this nice and thin. Perfect. You see we've chopped these up nice and finely. And we've got them all separated. And it's important to separate them. And we'll show you why later in this cook. So we've got that ready. We've got our burger balls. Bread over here. So we've got our griddle on high here, and we're just gonna make sure our temp's over 400. So we're registering 425, 430. So we're good to put down our burgers. So we're just gonna get down a few of these burger balls here. We're gonna go with three of them on an individual melt. Now we'll come in with the shaved onions, and this is where you really want the individual onion strands. You don't want them as slices put those over top of the burger balls and if you really like onion like I do and you want some of that grilled or seared onion in your sandwich make sure you put down a little bit of extra and now we're gonna go in with the smash Now the parchment paper just prevents your spatula from sticking to the burger. Perfect. Now we'll go in with a little sea salt and pepper. And now while those are searing up, we're actually just gonna use this little butter bell. And this butter bell, it's just a little tool that actually lets you keep butter at room temperature on your counter. But the bell itself actually seals with the water at the bottom of the container, just to give you a perfect airtight seal so your butter won't go bad while it's sitting out on your counter. We posted a little video on TikTok about it. I didn't think that anybody would really care about our little butter bell, but it got millions of views. So we'll get that down on there. We're just using rye bread. I'd recommend that you go with a thin slice of bread. So you can use sourdough if you like, but whew, that is hot already. Now we got our second one toasting here. get butter right to the edges so these get nice and golden brown. Ooh, that is looking good. Now for the onions, as those grill up, just get them on top of the burger patties so that they don't burn. Now let's check on our bread. 
Nice and golden brown, look at that. So this one's gonna be the base of our sandwich. So now we're gonna go down just with some fresh mozzarella. Now for our burgers, time to flip them. Oh, just look at that crust that's formed on these. It's great. Now we'll get some American cheese down on these burgers. This patty melt is gonna be a cheesy mess. It's gonna be glorious. Check on our other piece of bread here. Beautiful. Now we're gonna build our sandwich here just by putting these patties right onto the sandwich, right on the grill. Get that up top. Just look at that. How ridiculous is that sandwich? All right, now it's all toasted up. Time to get this guy off of the grill. So we've got the sandwich out here. I forgot to add a little garlic aioli. So we're not going in with our usual burger sauce going in with some garlic aioli. Just that flavor profile pairs a little better. Made an absolute mess. That's all right. Those squirt bottles never seem to work. Serves me right for using a pre-made garlic aioli. And just look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. So now there's just one thing left to do. We're gonna cut into this guy and do a taste test. So we've got our knife. You wanna cut this on the bias right down through here and just look at this. What a sloppy, messy, melty sandwich. This is gonna be phenomenal, or at least I think it will. It smells really good. You can smell the onions, that garlic aioli. Now for a bite. Mm. So cheesy. The rye bread. Mm, with the butter on the outside, that almost tastes like, you know, it's kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich crispiness to it. Mm. Three patties was maybe a little bit over the top, but you know we like to do things over the top on this channel. That is a lot of beef. I'd give you the debrief here, but I just gotta keep eating. So there you have it, folks. That's our twist on a patty melt done using smash burgers. Normally we're using brioche buns with our smash burger recipe, but I absolutely love this. I love the actual rye bread texture here. It's more of like a crispy grilled cheese sandwich. The mozzarella on here was actually really nice. Normally we're just using American cheese, but with that mozzarella in here, that was a really nice change. So I'm gonna get into finishing this off. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you learned something, consider subscribing to the channel for more easy step-by-step -step recipes to come. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.